Okay, this is how to do uh, debtor's control. Creditor's control will obviously be entered on the opposite side. So debtors are people who owe us money uh, because they're an asset. That's the plus side, and over here is the minus side. And that means that uh, something has happened to cause the debtors to owe more or less. This over here will be the total credit list is the total amount that we got by adding up the, all of the balances of their accounts in the personal account. So that up here is going to write personal. Okay, and over here, so if the personal account is done wrong uh, and it needs to be changed, I didn't enter it in the personal account or put it on the wrong side, that's where I, I would add it or take it away from the list. This here uh, if, is the other account. So if the sales account is done wrong, if the uh, sales returns is done wrong, something like that, I'll have to enter in the debtor's control. So the first one, uh, the following balances, we have a balance, BD on the debit and on the credit. Now, you would expect to have a balance on the debit, and it says here 35,200. Uh, you, do, you do expect to have uh, that balance. Uh, but the credit balance is because somebody who normally owes us money, we owe them a refund. And if nothing is mentioned in the question about that refund being paid off, we will still owe that refund at the end. So when you go to balance that at the end, we need to take into account that 600 if it hasn't been paid. So, in each case we have to ask, first of all, who's wrong? Which Is it the personal accounts are wrong, or is the other account, or is it both? So discount disallowed to a customer 60 have been recorded, discount allowed in the general ledger, and credit of 16 in the customer's account. So the customer's account is over here. I put in a credit of 16. So credit of 16 means uh, that uh, because this, these are debtors, if I credit a debtor, it means you owe me 16 euro less. Whereas I should have said that you owe me 60 more because I've cancelled the discount. So I'm going to have to add on uh, 16 to cancel the mistake and add on 60 to what I should have done in the first place. putting 76 the total in there. Uh, in the general ledger uh, it was recorded as discount allowed which so that means I would have put it in over here as letting somebody off money I should have put it in as you owe me more money so I'm going to double it and put it on the correct side. Interest so this is, that's the first one. Number two, interest amount of 140 and correctly in the interest account. So the interest account is here in the control, because that's the other account. Filing complaint of customer, this is reduced by 20. Okay. Uh, so it was reduced by 20, so I'm going to take away the interest. So the interest is a plus, so I take it away by putting 20 over here. And now what happened in the personal account? Interest amounting to, so I'm just thinking, do I need to do anything in the list? Uh, it's entered correctly in the interest account, but credited to a customer uh, as 40. So crediting a customer as 40 means I'm letting you off 40, whereas I should have been adding on 140. And after the complaint, I should be adding on really 120. So I need to have an add of 120 to do what I should have done, and then 40 to cancel the mistake that I made originally, so 160. Third one, cash sales 1200 and credit sales. Now cash sales obviously is nothing to do with, it should not have been entered in a debtor's account, because if I sell goods to you in cash, you don't owe me any more, you don't owe me any less. Now, uh, cash sales uh, and credit sales entered on the credit side of a customer's account. So, uh, the cash sales should never have been put in there at all. It was, it was put on the credit side of the person's account. That means that that person owes less. So I'm going to get rid of that in the person's account. So cash sales uh, is 1200 So that's cancelling the cash sale. Now the credit sale uh, was put on the credit side of the person's account saying that you owe me less money, but really you should owe me more. So I have to put double that, so 1420 on the add to say that you owe me more money. Uh, and they all they mention here is the customer's account, so I presume that the other account, which is sales, was entered properly. Credit note from a customer 45 after restocking charge of 20 was applied. That means we sent we the person sent back 65 euro worth of goods, 
and we charged, so we took 65 off his account and we should uh, add on 20 for the restocking. So the only entry made was 35 in the returns book. So if I put 35 into the returns book, I would have put 35 into both sales returns account, which would have ended up over here in the debtor's control, and I would have ended up with 35 in the personal account. So the restocking charge was cancelled at 20. So what I should really have is 65 for sales returns. What I have at the moment is 35. So I have to have 30 more sales returns. So sales returns is a minus. So the credit side. Uh, and it's, I'm assuming uh, the only entry made was 35 in the returns book. Uh, so I, uh, this is one of the, pr the problems sometimes. You have to see what would have... So understanding what the examiner is actually saying. So the only entry made, I'm assuming that it was entered in the returns book and it was never entered anywhere else. So if it was entered in the returns book and never put into the sales returns, sorry, into the personal account, then uh, I'll have to put, I'm assuming that 35 is not in the personal account. So what I need to do is just record in here my sales returns. So I'm putting it in as 65. So just to go back over that again, I'm saying that because it was entered in the returns book, it would have been included in the total when we added up a return, and we never went and put it into the personal account. So I'm just recording here in the personal account that less money is owed. Uh, invoice for 1450 entered in the appropriate day book as 540. The appropriate day book when we send an invoice, an invoice is a bill, so the appropriate day book will be the sales day book. So I put the wrong figure in the sales day book, which means uh, that I would have, when I add up the total of the sales day book, I would have the wrong number. So 1450, and I put it in as 1540, so I need to reduce it because I put too much in. So sales, and the figure is 1540, take away 1450, 90 euro. Now the personal account. Uh, when posting from this book to the ledger, no entry made in the customer's account. So we need to add on uh, to the customer 150. So it's going to call it sales. Uh, 1450. And uh, finally, 140 was received from a debtor for a debt previously written off. It represents 70% of the original debt, and the debtor has undertaken to repay the remainder of the debt. So. Uh, let's look at the account. So here, I would have cancelled a debtor. Okay, when he goes bad and I say I'm never going to get any money from you, I would have cancelled the debt. Okay, from the debtor. So I'm just going to uncancel it. So I, I have a bad debts here, and that's for the original amount of the debt. Now, 140 was received. 140 is 70 percent of the debt. Okay, so to find the figure, we will have 140. Uh, divided by 70 and multiplied by 100, which is divided by basically 0.7. So the original debt was 200, okay? So, and I'm going to cancel, I'm going to add that debt back on, so I'll put it in here. And no entry was made in there, accounts. Okay. So, so that's reinstating the debt. Now we deal with the fact that we got some money. Okay, so the money we received is 140, so that's going to be bank. Here. Okay, and the rest is going to come in. So we've now done two things. We've uh, cancelled the fact that we call this guy a bad debt, and uh, we've put in the bank, and the net of that, uh, 140 take away 200 is the amount we're now owed from our debtors. Okay, so to finish off the accounts, we need to go and balance this. So we balance your control account first because we never were given a total for the list. We're going to work backwards to find that. So we're going to have two balances. So there's a balance CD on this side and also a balance CD on this side. Now remember, we said at the very beginning, this 600 was owed as a refund to somebody. It doesn't say anything in the question that we gave this person a refund. So we still owe this person a refund. So we're going to have a 600 there because down here I'll have a balance BD of the original 600. That hasn't changed. Okay. So now I add up two sides. I want to find the difference. I'm going to balance the rest of it. I'm, I'm including the 600 now when I add it up. Okay. So 
So now when I get my balance CD, it's going to be the 33 minus all the rest of it as usual. So. And that's my balance BD. So now I need to go and do my uh, list of balances. Okay. So it says in my control account, so I'm just doing my corrected total here. So my control account says that we're owed from the control account when the debit side is 35, 32,540, credit side is 600. So the actual amount I owe is the net of those two figures. So I'm going to take away, so that this is the amount that we should get in our uh, list. Because remember, if we've done our corrections correctly, then the amount that our control account says we're owed should be the same as the amount our list says we're owed. Okay. So there's the correct total. So working backwards, I would have added those two numbers together. Okay. So that would have been a less, so I would have been taking that away Okay, to get this. I'm taking that 205 away from the figure above, so therefore to work backwards and find the figure that we should have here, okay, uh, I'll be adding, okay, so I'll add 31 and the 205. So then I'll, above that, I'm going to have my, I'll be adding on my, uh, all of my ads in the control, so that's going to be. together and that's the total for the ads. So what I've done again is I started with the, the end figure, I worked backwards and changed the signs. So that 205 should have been a minus so I added to work back upwards and then these ads I'm going to take away to get the original total from the list. So the original total for this is going to be 32145 minus the 4506. Oh, no, that's not correct. So that should be the previous side. Okay. And that's it. I hope that makes a little bit of sense to you.